Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here for a plan with me for the week beginning the 8th of March in my B6 rings, which is my Aura Stell. Um, so I used a kit sort of last week. I used the Honey Bee Shop subscription. And this week I've decided to push myself a little bit further. So I was gonna let Ben pick what I used in my sticker kit. I mentioned this in my Monday video, I'll leave a card up here. But it's Ben's birthday on Wednesday. And when I asked him to pick a kit from my memory keeping spread, he just couldn't. He couldn't pick a kit. And he got himself all worked up. He didn't want to do it. It just wasn't happening. He has no interest in planner stuff. And what I got him to do, I made some stickers with his artwork on. And that actually worked like so much better. He got really excited. He really wanted to use it. He wanted to wanted me to plan with it. So I didn't want to make him pick anything for my personal white, sorry, my B6 rings. I didn't want to pressure him. So I've decided to pressure myself instead. <laughs> Somebody had asked if I'd done anything with this yet, which I purchased a while ago on Amazon, thanks to Emmy Lou Arts. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. And it is literally a book of the most random stickers. So, what I'm going to do, oh God, is only use these. Ooh, gonna wanna use that. Um, I'm only gonna use this book. Um, I'm gonna use some boxes and some of my usual like functional and stuff. But for decoration, I'm just using this book. We're going messy. So I did pull some date covers, which I'm actually tempted to just leave what I've got. But no, I think I'm gonna use my date covers. So these are, I can't remember where they're from. They were a freebie. I've got date dots and I have pulled one boring washi, which is white with silver polka dots. And it's an old Simply Gilded washi. And that's it, and I've only pulled that to divide the page. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll soon see, won't we? It could all go horribly wrong and be the worst thing I've ever done. But, it could all go right and be amazing. So let's just go for it, shall we? Because I think I needed to do something different. I need a change. I need to push myself that little bit because that actually does bring me happiness and joy. And I enjoy it. So we're just gonna do it and hope for the best. Oh, I don't have an eight. Okay, we're gonna have to find some different numbers. I'll just get some of mine, I think. Okay, they're not super blingy, but these are my Large date dots. Silver foil. So, okay, so that's all we're doing for the date. It's Monday. It's Monday. Um, I think I will divide my page before I do the decorating. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here, everybody. This could all be awful. You know that, right? But, it could also be amazing. And it's always fun trying new things. She says, not believing that for a second. Just gonna open it, oh, hello. Hello, florals. I'm just gonna open it randomly and pick stuff. Oh my God, there's a bat. Okay, well, we're doing the bat first. Oh, oh no, okay. Note to self, peel very carefully. Otherwise you get an almost dead bat. That will work to divide my page or to go down the bottom. We're just gonna start sticking because otherwise I'm gonna overthink this. And we know what I'm like when I get into overthinking. Let's just do some florals with the bat. Oh, you know what would look cool underneath the... Oh, they peel up real nice. 
yeah, they peel up really nicely. So that's good to know. They don't peel out the book so well. But they peel up off the page really well. Okay, and a bug. Let's do a bug. A beetle. Is that a beetle? Looks like a beetle. So yeah, we're just going to mess today. We're just going to stick stuff down and make it messy. Oh my god, okay, I need to, oh, there, oh, oh, okay. We need to try and remember that page. I wonder if there's, I like this, they've literally, okay, they printed one big picture and then cut out random shapes. I really like that. Cover up the tip X because I don't like tip X. I want to use this page particularly. <laughs> we're literally just making a mess, everybody. That's what we're doing today. So I hope you're good with that. Okay. Okay. So. I'm gonna put down my work header, I think. So I've got my Mad Hatter sticker coat and I've got my... <sighs> Foiled. God, could not think of the word then. Or my stuff. And I'm gonna use these. Mainly because I don't have any silver left. <laughs> and because I just want to. So we'll put work over here. I might just, should we divide the page a different way? Let's divide it with a Tombow. Giving myself a very large work space there. Never mind. And then we'll get to do's. Mm. What will I do them in? To do? Or, yeah, we'll just use these ones. To do scripts in my favourite one, which is script 2.0 from Mad Hatter Stickers. I have a code for Mad Hatter Stickers, which is listed down below. Okay, oh my god. Okay, I'm already in love. See, this is what I like doing. I like making a mess like this. I might just put a sticker up here and then put the date. In fact, I'm going to use this big ass spider web. It's giant. So let's hope we don't have a lot on. On Tuesday. <laughs> well, I don't know, do I? Not left myself enough room to have anything on. Actually, I have. It's the joy of these inserts. Like, I can use loads of stickers and I've still left myself enough room because I keep my... I now keep my cleaning schedule in a separate section. So this to-do, I'll have some cleaning stuff, but not a lot. Um, it's mostly in another section, so... It doesn't actually matter. Like I make, it's funny, I need the daily pages, but I don't need a huge amount of room on them because I make lists everywhere. Okay, my printer just started randomly making noises. So now I'm slightly concerned. So I just text my husband, he's putting Posey to sleep by the way. I just text him, did you just send something to print or is my printer haunted? Wouldn't surprise me if the printer was haunted. Which is fine, just could you not during my filming? I'm working here. I'm working. Okay. I'm having a lot of fun already. Can we tell? You just need to sometimes, you know? You just need to mix it up and make a mess. And Okay, so I've used the big spider. 
She's the little bee. I love bees as well. All these bats. Okay, I'm gonna gonna fold down the page to remind me that that's where the bats are. So that I remember to use the bats. Oh, pretty. Oh my god, that cat is creepy as fuck. Okay. Okay, apparently hubby didn't send anything to print. Oh. So, um, yeah, it's just my printer's haunted. Cool. Cool. Seriously, why, why did I not use this book before? This has got the best stickers in. And the weirdest stickers. Okay. Like, none of them, oh, hello. You're, you're gonna get used. None of them necessarily go, but. Okay, we're peeling up the B. Yeah, none of them necessarily go, but they're just Ace. Oh, and it could be. Um, and a ladybird. And another weird ass ladybird. Is that a ladybird? What is that? The bug. Okay, and we're gonna mark here. Literally not even kidding where we're marking stuff this week. Just having fun. So, how is everybody? I don't think in my Monday video I even asked how you were. That's terrible. Terrible. How are you? Is everybody okay? Y'all holding up? So, um... Yeah, so I had my COVID vaccine. Woohoo! I sure did. Um, I feel sorry, bear over here. Yeah, had my COVID vaccine, which was fine. The actual vaccination was fine. Um, got stabbed, then went shopping. And actually, I did. That's what I did. Got stabbed and went shopping. Me and the hubby went to Asda. It was wild, wild times. Um, we went and did our weekly shop and got all our groceries. What a mess I'm making, and isn't it lovely? Yeah, we just went and got our weekly shop, all our groceries and everything. And then um, came home to relax a little bit. Um, but it was fine, honestly. Um, we did have some symptoms afterwards. So the next day, I think it was the Monday, um, I was really tired and sore and there's an animal making a noise. Yeah, I was tired and sore and I felt a bit queasy, like I had quite a bad nausea. And, um, and muscle aches. But nothing that, like, didn't keep me from doing stuff. In fact, I've actually had a really productive week. <laughs> Mon so, Monday and Tuesday, I will say, like, there were symptoms and I didn't feel great, I didn't feel 100%. Um, it wasn't like I was, yeah, absolutely fine. Definite symptoms afterwards. But we managed and Paula came and took Posey to nursery on the Monday. So she did like the childcare on the Monday, which really helped. But I was fine. Like the Tuesday I took her and the Wednesday and everything. So, I mean, it was more just, we had her just in case. I felt bad, but honestly, it wasn't that bad, so. Okay, so for Wednesday is Ben's birthday. So I wanna look for stickers that I think Ben would like. And I did see some. Here we go. This is the sort of thing Ben would like. Ben is very much into the macabre. He's, that's my boy. 
So we're going to go with macabre. Oh, love these. Love these. These are so ridiculous. Ben's going to love this book. These are brilliant. Okay, this one is creepy as hell, but Ben will love that. So we're gonna use that. He will seriously love that. Um, yeah, so I did have some side effects, did have some symptoms, but honestly, totally worth it. If you're offered your vaccine, go get it. I'm not gonna tell you not to. And I'm not gonna say it's a personal decision. It is a personal decision. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to go and do it because you have to. I'm gonna tell you you should because you should. If you care about human beings, you should go and get your vaccine when offered. I'm just picking all the ones I think Ben would like. Yeah, go get your vaccine when you're offered it. Side effects weren't great. Wasn't nice. But sucked it up, dealt with it. Didn't last long. And yeah. It was like, I would say, let me think. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Monday and Tuesday, I sort of felt like I was having a fibro flare. Um, but not the worst flare I've had. And then Wednesday, maybe like the aftermath of a flare. Um, and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, Sunday, I've been fine. Like no more side effects whatsoever. Um, I don't think, personally. Uh, yeah, I've actually been ridiculously productive. So I'm quite proud of myself with my productivity this week. I have, um, okay, there's a beetle with a top hat and a cane. This book was made for Ben, to be honest. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna stop because I don't, I don't wanna run out of space to write down that it's his birthday. Um, yeah, so definitely go get it when you're offered it. It really wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, and I feel like most of my symptoms or side effects or whatever were more like a fibro flare. So my hubby, he felt absolutely fine. Oh, that one's really badly cut. They're all quite bad. Oh, well. He felt absolutely fine the next day. Um, then he started, like, by the by dinner time. What side did I put it on on Tuesday? Yeah, by dinner time, he felt a bit nauseous. And that's how I felt as well. Like, everything tasted slightly funny. Um, which made me feel like I was nauseated, you know? Does that make sense? Do you see what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, honestly, not as bad as I had expected. I was glad that I had given myself the time that I'd like taken away the the um, pressure on making sure I had a video out and all that. Like I was glad that I'd done that that I had taken, had the foresight to give myself the couple of days where it didn't matter if I didn't get any work done or anything. But yeah, I mean, I did actually get work done. I, I was quite, like I say, I was quite productive. I got actual work done. Um, so yeah, I just took it really easy on the Monday, but I got work done on the Tuesday all the work done, on, loads of work done on the Tuesday. And the Wednesday was quite busy, Greg was at work. 
um, was he? Yeah, he was at work. And then he had, he played magic online at night. So, yeah. But that's about it. But yeah, I've had a really productive week. So we've been decided to try the Tom method, which is the organized mum. I I've mentioned it a few times before. I'll leave a link to the blog post to the blog website, however you want to say that, um, down below. I freaking love this. I'm gonna have to use that in a journaling page because it's too big for a daily. It's too big for this page. Look. Oh, actually, it would literally just take up the whole page. Hi, Ninja Mouse. Could you be much noisier? Sorry. Go. Yeah, that would just take up like the whole page. Look, you could fit it in, but it would literally just be that across the entire page. Really tempted, but I wouldn't have anywhere to write anything. I could just stick boxes on. Oh my God, I'm really tempted to do that on Sunday. I'm just gonna turn the page over. We might do that for Sunday. Completely impractical, but it would look cool. Um, yes, yeah, so we've been very, so we've been trying to do the organized mum method and I haven't been able to get into it. Like I've just been putting it off and putting it off and not really doing anything. And then on Thursday, I just went for it. And I cleaned my kitchen. I, um, I should have shut the door. Yeah, so I just cleaned my kitchen and, no, it wasn't Thursday, sorry. Was it Thursday? No, Wednesday I went for it. Start again. So Greg was at work and I did the hallway. Um, I decluttered. I mopped. I dusted. I cleaned light fittings. I cleaned the top of doors which Isaac was very impressed about. He went around running his finger at the top of the doors, which, I mean, they were clean, but that felt a bit like, judgy. <laughs> um, but yeah, did it. And it looked amazing. I feel like a mushroom would fit here, but it doesn't. None of these things fit together. Like there is no cohesive theme in my book this week whatsoever other than these stickers are cute. Literally the only theme in this spread is that the stickers are cute. So all the stickers came from the same book. Does that make it okay? Cohesive theme? No. I like the look of the stickers. That's what makes it cohesive. That's what we're telling ourselves and what I'm sticking with. Oh, it's a butterfly. Okay. So. Yeah, so on Wednesday I did the hallway. Totally got the hallway and it looked amazing. It's like, cool, done. And Thursday I was gonna do the kitchen and I just couldn't, couldn't get going. So I didn't worry about it. But then on Friday I did the kitchen and oh my God. Uh, so I started on Friday at about like, after I'd taken Posey to nursery, I started at about, oof, maybe like two o'clock. And Greg went to bed early cause he wasn't feeling great. I don't think was vaccine related. I think it's just lack of sleep and you know all that good stuff. Um, yeah, Greg went to bed early and I stayed up till, well I went to bed at like half 11, 12 and I'd literally just been cleaning the whole time, didn't do anything else, I just cleaned and oh my god it felt so good and the whole place looked so good. It just, 
was so good. Um, but I didn't finish because our kitchen hasn't been decluttered in about, well, I don't think I've ever decluttered the kitchen properly. So, um, yeah. So, instead, on Saturday, I got up and I did a huge declutter. I'm getting my days wrong because I'm filming this on Sunday. I normally film on Saturdays. But yeah, I got up and I just, I went for it again on Saturday and I did so much. I got so much done. It looked beautiful. So I finished, I would say, Saturday. Um, I even like, I like I did everything. I did everything. And that kitchen looks fucking amazing. And it is echoey as hell. Because I even, like I got, did the tops of the cupboards, everything. So yeah, it's echoey as hell because none of the junk is at the top anymore. <laughs> but it looks good. I'm very happy with it. And that's the important part. It looks amazing. Right, I'm gonna cut one of these. Yeah, so it looks absolutely incredible. We've done loads. And it just, oh. So, that's the kitchen done. Today I was gonna do bathrooms, but instead I went and did a tip run of all the kitchen stuff. And I also went and did our big shop. So, I mean, it was better doing that than doing the bathrooms. But, I'm gonna do the bathrooms tomorrow, I think. Yeah, and of course on um, Friday we watched WandaVision, which broke me. We watched it on Friday morning, sort of, morning with Posey, because she's watched a couple of them with us, and I mean, I probably wouldn't recommend it, really, if I'm honest, but she really liked it. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for children. I'd recommend it for absolutely everybody. Um, but she was fine with it. She just watched the bits that she liked. And she didn't get too upset, but oh my god, it totally broke me. Oh my god, that's a bear sticker! Oh, okay. Greg has no idea what I'm doing, but he's just stood in the doorway when I went, oh my god, that's a bear sticker. I just came in here and go, oh my god, WandaVision has broken her in half. And oh my god, it's a bear. WandaVision did break me. I was broken. Down in the comments if you get that reference. It's a bear! It's driving a car! It's not a reference. Don't mention the comments. Come on, out the door. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I think we're getting divorced now. Divorce! I'm down with the kids. Are you? How old is the reference you're making? Hey. First one is 98. Second one, oh, it's a bit more timely. I think it might be early 2000s. Wow. And something it was never shown in the UK. Oh, good God. Okay. And only, I think, a couple episodes shown elsewhere. I'll okay, actually, do say down in the comments if you know what he's talking about, because fucked if I do. Um, yeah, so WandaVision broke me. Posey, Posey likes it. She really likes watching it, so we let her. Yeah, she's good. Um, but she liked it. So she watched it with us in the morning. Um, so we've been doing it that way around. We've been watching it in the mornings because she didn't mind watching it. She wanted to watch it. And um, that way we didn't get any spoilers online because people were really bad for spoiling it. Although I have to say, nobody spoiled the finale. Like, there were no spoilers. Didn't see any. In fact, even after I'd watched it, I didn't see many. So, good people. Um, yeah, so we watched WandaVision and it broke me. It was so good. So good. And then, so we've been... Play, play, play. So we started a new program this week. Oh, what's it called? What's that program called we're watching? The okay, it's called The Tether. <laughs> 
It's really good. Um, in fact, we're going to go and watch some more after I've finished filming this. Because it's so good. Um, but it is really, really good. And I want to use the snakes. And then I'm going to use that jellyfish. Fuck it. So I'm going to use the snakes on Saturday. Should I use the snakes on Tuesday? Because that's the day they get fed. Oh, well. Um... Yes, so I feel like I'm all over the place in this video. I do apologize. It's like a squirrel everywhere. Anyway, so we, we've we been watching this called The Tedder. And oh my God, it's so good. So good. It is a supernatural. It is supernatural, yeah. I don't think that goes there. Um... But it's just so good. I, I can't. I can't explain it. I, like, I don't want to say anything because I feel like, well, if I say anything about what happens in it, I'm I'm gonna spoil it for you. So I'm not gonna say. Oh, I just pulled the snake's head off. I'm sorry, snakey. Oh dear. That's unfortunate for the poor thing. Um. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not going to tell you what happened or anything about it because I will give spoilers. I'm not very good at saying what things are about without spoiling it. So, just if you like supernatural or period sort of programs, watch it. It's really good. Really good. Um... Yeah, so we've been watching that. We're going to go and watch another one of them in a minute. Because it's so good. But that's what we've been up to. So also, um, I believe, yes I did tell you, but my mum tested positive for COVID. I'm sure I told you. Did I tell you? I'm sure I did. But she did. Um, but this was two weeks ago now, so she has been completely asymptomatic ever since. So there's another reason for getting your vaccine. My mum was vaccinated and my mum has many health conditions, which would be very high risk uh, for COVID, for side effects. And my mum has had one vaccination. She was actually due to get her second vaccination on the day that the tests came back positive. And my mum has had zero symptoms. None. And that is thanks to the vaccine. Like, if she hadn't had it, she may not have had a really bad case. Like, there's not nothing to say that she wouldn't have been all right anyway. But doctors, etc., it is thanks in large part to the fact that she's had the vaccine that she has recovered, she's totally fine, she's had no real symptoms, she's done really well, she's good, and that is thanks to the vaccine. So there's another reason, go get your vaccinations. Protect the more vulnerable in society. <laughs> okay, we're doing it, we're sticking that big fucking octopus down. I am going to have to just stick stickers over the top of it on Sunday. To be honest, the reason I'm doing it on Sunday is I put very little. I'm going to try and find. So I put quite a bit on here. I didn't actually do it. So I tend to not put as much on a Sunday. So I don't mind using stickers on a Sunday instead to um, mark down what I do or what I need to get done just fits and there's still room I think there's room there and there I got room and I'll just stick stickers on top I don't care <laughs> I want to do this because it's so pretty I want to use the big jellyfish jellyfish is it a jellyfish or is it a flower? I think it's a jellyfish. I don't know. It looks like maybe a flower pretending to be a jellyfish. So 
So I'm going to leave the little space there. I should have put my washi down. Oh well, let's try and peel up a tiny bit. Ripped the sticker, never mind. Yeah, so my mum's good. My vaccine is fine, side effects. We've been watching The Terror and it's amazing. Watched WandaVision. I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it broke me. But broke me. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. All of it's brilliant. So I'm going to divide over here in two as well. Because I'm trying to put my cleaning in a separate section of my planner because we're now following the Tom. Um, so I can do a more detailed page about it. But what I'm going to do for my to-dos won't be cleaning stuff. I'm just going to have... It might just have the knit what room. Or it might just say like... That's normally if I've got an errand to run or something like that. I'll put in there. I have really filled up that one. Okay. It looks blank now. I want to do something here. Meals. I need my meals listed. So I'm going to use one of these. The dinosaur from Sweet Kawaii Designs. Not because the dinosaur fits or anything. No real reason other than it's cute. Um, going to put it at the bottom. Ninja Mouse sneezing. And then I'm going to put a shit ton of stickers down. Again. Because why not? Why the fuck not? Like, seriously. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sunday. We definitely won't be doing anything because it's Mother's Day on Sunday. So that's perfect, that page being just decorated the fuck out. Because it's Mother's Day. Actually, how big is that going to be? Just, just big. This big. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good old Sweet Cry Designs peels up too. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is fun. See, this is why I have more than one planner though. So that it doesn't matter that I have filled up the page with stickers. Because I can write stuff in other planners and on bits of paper and post-it notes. I do love a post-it note. You need to use post-it notes. Take that higher up. Oh my god, that is so cute. And then I can stick this over the bottom. And mum still have a little macabre. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay. And we need to hole punch again. Okay. I'm going to put it in my planner and see how unbelievably messy it is. And see if I can... Oh no, I haven't put any appointments in. Holy shit. Okay. Let's do that, shall we? So, we need some boxes and things to mark nursery and school and all the appointments and stuff we've got going on. I'm going to use small boxes <laughs> as I have um, filled up quite a chunk. Gonna use these little once more with loves these ones for nursery. So Posy has nursery on Monday. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Here's my pen. So we've got nursery and it's nine till twelve thirty. And then Isaac has speech therapy. At two, so we'll put that in, and that's two p.m. And then 
Greg has D&D, so we'll put that in, just with a regular little sticker. I feel like my voice has gone funny as well. I'm very sorry. I'm probably sounding a bit manic. Not really sure why, but we're going to go with it and use it. Probably because I finally got around to decluttering the kitchen and it's so lovely that I'm just itching to do other stuff, but I still have to be careful. Like, I woke up this morning and my left knee was so sore. So I have to be careful. Okay, Tuesday is just nursery. That's the only thing going on. Wednesday is nursery. We'll put that in first. And then... It's Ben's birthday. I am actually gonna have a little look and see what cute stickers. I feel like I've made a mess in my sticker box. What cute fold over sticker I've got because I feel like it deserves more than just a plain sticker. And I wanna use something else. I want to use something that makes me think of Ben. You know? I like that because she's got a little birthday hat on. So that does work because it's got a birthday hat. Although an iPad or skulls Mmm, I've got a lot of foldable stickers. <laughs> a lot of the same foldable stickers. Do we do an iPad? Yeah, it might be too big. If I can move the crow. I mean, iPads are a very Ben thing. So I do feel like it would work, you know? Okay, so hate folding them over. I love fold over stickers, but I'm always worried I'm going to ruin them. Okay. And put them down squint, but that's okay. And let's get some birthday deco. We're going to use the Brave Bear. And I might make a sticker that says Benedict. Just because so that one's from fantasy design stores and then I've got these from paper and thread which is Monty the bat and snowball I want to say <laughs> am I be wrong I'm gonna write Benedict is seven. Oh, my baby. Okay, that's Wednesday. Because Ben's birthday is the only thing going on on Wednesday. Thursday. It's going to be a pain to write on the other side of that. Never mind. Thursday is nursery. One till four thirty at the woods. They're starting back at the woods, which is cool. Posey loves that. I'm really hoping she's well enough to go. She'll be really upset if she's not. And Greg is at the shop. Which that's going to be a pain as well, but we'll figure out timings, etc. Okay, and then Friday is nursery. So yeah, did I say she woke up? She's got a really snuffly nose. And um, it's literally just a runny nose. But they're very strict on any sort of cold symptoms at the moment. 
which is totally understandable. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how she feels tomorrow. So nursery is the only thing on Friday. Saturday, Isaac has play scheme. I'm literally just using the once more with gloves. Because they're aff cute. Yeah, Isaac has play scheme. And that is 10 till 2.30. Hopefully he'll go this time. <laughs> and then Sunday, which I've left myself no room. But I can still use this one to mark down Mother's Day. Which is fine, because I don't need many to-do spaces, because it's Mother's Day. Shouldn't be doing anything. Okay, let's put this back in my planner and see if I've got room for anything else. Never mind how it looks. Okay, for starters I need to say I am so happy to be back to doing random ass messy not a kit week. I feel like I could put something in here. Like a flower. Something that happened to be right there. So let's put a flower. There we go. I really love just filling up the pages. So, it's a messy, this, this needs, does this need something? Do we need more here? With these little guys? Mm, I feel like we could put more there, but I'm gonna leave it just now. Wednesday, Ben's birthday is my favorite because it's very him. Thursday and Friday. <laughs> just card game, real sticker heavy. Saturday and Sunday. I am loving this. Why did I not use this before? I think because I was still, I was still restricting myself to needing to use kits. For some reason I had it in my head that this planner had to be super functional and I had to be, I think it's because in my Stalogy when I did this layout, I did actually need the space to write, but I don't necessarily need all the space. Like if I've got other stuff to add, in the Stalogy I could have added post-it notes, that would have been no problem. But if I really need to add something in, I have a whole section here of just note paper that's punched and slit so that I can rip it out, stick it in and write on it, you know? And then I have a whole cleaning section. I am gonna do a flip of this planner very soon, don't worry. But look at that, I mean, I can fit in my information in there and it looks fucking cool. That book is very me. Very, very me. It's perfect. Um, okay, so I will leave links down below, but literally this one will be in my Amazon storefront. Excellent. Excellent. There's a botanicals one as well. Think I might have to treat myself to that for Mother's Day. So, um, yeah, I will leave links down below. If anybody has any questions, please ask them down below or you can find me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name just here. You can also find me in my Facebook group. The link for that will be down below. Please come and join us there. I'm not super active, I'm getting better at it, but <laughs> come join us, chat with me. So, um, thank you as always for watching and listening to me waffle in this very squiddle video. Um, and I will see all of you next time.